Okay everybody and welcome back to Learn With Minecraft Education. Today we're going to be looking at One Block, which is a really interesting mode uh, that you can play in Minecraft. It's going to work for us in Minecraft Education 2. We're going to look at how to download it, how to install it. So without any further ado, let's dive in and take a look. Right, here we are in our link that's in the description today. And if we scroll down, we can look, there's a few different versions of this map. Now we want the 1.14.30 MC world file. And we just click that and wait for the ad to go away and it will uh, download. Here it is in the bottom left. And if we click that, it will open up in Minecraft education for us. Right, so here we are in our world. And as you might have guessed, it is one block. So we need to start hitting away at this block and you'll notice that it respawns. And it doesn't just respawn any block, it respawns kind of a random block. And the block that it respawns um, depends on what level you're on here. So you can see there's 10 different levels. Now I must say, with this world, I did try and find a version in English. It was very difficult to find a version uh, that worked in Minecraft Education. Oh, here's my first mob, hello, such a little sheep. We haven't got any room for you, I'm afraid, so we need to get rid of the sheep. Sorry about that. Uh, but as I was saying, it was very difficult to find a uh, version that worked in Minecraft Education. And uh, the one version I did find is unfortunately, I think, I'm going to say it, it's in Spanish maybe. But we we should be hopefully familiar with one block. We know how it works. We work, work our way through the different levels. We get different types of blocks. And we're trying to complete the game just like we normally would in survival mode. Another mob down, pig gone there. We haven't got room for them at the moment. Um, the link for this world file is in the description. Let's crack on and uh, start expanding. I've got lots of dirt blocks now, a few saplings and things. So I'm going to start expanding around this one block uh, that I've put down and created. So just very carefully stepping out. I don't want to fall down and lose all of this uh, dirt that I've got. Another chicken there, slowly drifting away. And uh, let's let's go ahead and make this platform even bigger so that me and my pig here have got some room to live and explore. Let's make that big couple of chests down there and we're getting ourselves organised here. So let's go ahead and move stuff into our chest. The reason we do this, if we fall off the edge or um, an, uh, an unfriendly mob spawns, uh, anything like that, we're safe. If we fall off and we respawn, most of our stuff will be in the chest, which is good. Now, um, the next thing I want to start doing, making a little area over here for my farm animals, um, because they're going to be helpful. I'm gonna, I want to get wool from those later on. If I can have those separated out in little fenced areas, that's going to make a big difference for us, okay? So, uh, I've got my pig over there. Let's try and get, oh, the mushrooms are helpful. Uh, but you can also get mushroom soup by milking the mushrooms as well, which is a really good resource to have. It's kind of hard rounding them up, so I'm gonna do my best. If I lose a few, so be it, that's fine. I'm just gonna keep grinding away. And now I'm going to make my pickaxe just to speed things up a bit, my first wooden pickaxe. I'm gonna try and get these mushrooms and stuff in here in this paddock. I'm gonna try and keep the ones, oh no, I've lost him. He's gone over the edge. Um, but I'm going to try and keep as many of them as I can. I'm going to use carrots, I think, to lure my pig back in because he's escaped. Over here, Mr. Piggy, follow the carrot. There we go. And uh, the mushrooms, we can lure those in uh, with wheat, I believe. Um, ideally, we want to get some more space over here so that we can have separate paddocks for our different animals. Oh, they're so annoying rounding these guys up. Get in there. I'm going to have to use violence. Yeah, that's much more effective, isn't it? And um, you can get in there too. It's a real pain getting them in there. Come on, get inside. There we go. Excellent work, good. Okay, so let's, um, let's do a a bit more expansion over here. Now, um, the other thing that we need really is a little bit of space to grow some trees because we need wood. We do want to be building a little house later on. And the way that we want to do that is with wooden planks to start with because they are inflammable and they won't catch fire, uh, which is helpful in a world like this. If we get a bit of a fire problem, get that sheep in there. If we get a bit of a fire problem, um, then the wooden planks are going to stop it spreading to our house. Okay, so we've built our little tree farm and uh, now as I said before the next thing we want to do is try and create a little bit more space and uh, the way we do that we need to lay down some more dirt blocks for the floor and we need to use the wood that we've gathered uh, which is limited at the moment but we'll have lots of more after our tree farm kicks in uh, to get some fences and gates and what three paddocks we want one for cows, sheep and pigs as well, then we can use things like shears to get wool from the sheep. 
and uh, eventually we can build our bed. Getting a lot of sheep, which is good, and I'm hoping that I get some black sheep. I've got a few there. Hopefully I get some iron ingots and stuff as I move forward as well, but for now I'm pretty happy with my setup. Got that nice little farm behind me, and it's looking good. Got some pigs in there. I need to get down underneath here and build. I want to build a little farm area. I've got my water supply, my water bucket, which was given to me in a chest a little while earlier. And as you can see, I'm just kind of floating down here and trying to... Oh, I've got a tree. It's ready to go, that's good. Let's let's take down this tree, get the wood, and I'm um, starting to build up a nice supply of wood so I can get some planks to build the base for my house area, which will be slightly separate from the rest. Oh, crikey. My first... Um, unfriendly mob has spawned a cave spider here. Luckily, I was given a sword um, in one of the chests, so I could dispatch that quite... Oh no, this won't be easy. Oh, crikey. Yeah. So, creeper spawned, blew up my chests, and blew up my crafting table as well, uh, which is less than ideal. I've lost a bit of stuff, but I'm going to keep grinding away. Oh, iron boots, that's going to be helpful. Let's try and get some armour and stuff. And I should maybe think of... not another... Okay, move back. Okay, I think I've got all my stuff back here. <sighs> the iron boots helped there, saved my life, that was good. Two creepers so quickly together, so thing that, as you can see, the difficulty increases as we go through. I'm going to move over here, I've got my furnace, blast furnace and um, crafting table at the back there, I've moved those out of the way. I'm going to move my chests soon uh, when I build my house, but let's go ahead and uh, build the house first and I'll move my chests after that. So I've got my wooden planks, which I got from my uh, tree and a bit of grinding. I'm just going to uh, kind of speed through this last part of me building the house and moving the chests and stuff, because we get the idea now, don't we? I've got some torches now so I can see what I'm doing a bit better at night, and I've got some um, iron trousers for my armor which can make me look smart. A few more mobs spawning there, cave spider. Uh, so let's go ahead create a cobblestone generator and I'm just going to mine like a whole load of cobblestone and I'm going to use cobblestone to build my house. It's pretty tough stuff isn't it? It's pretty durable and it's uh, fire resistant which is always nice. I need to collect a few more iron ingots to get to make some shears and once I've got my shears hopefully my Black sheep will breed and I've enough materials there to make a bed. Building off there the front of my house, a little bit more cobblestone should do the trick. Awesome. A few more trees have popped up which is awesome, just make my world a bit bigger. Take down these trees which will get me a few more saplings and wood and plank and I've surrounded my one block with something a bit more um, identifiable. If you surround your block with dirt, you can sometimes lose it, it's a bit frustrating. Uh, so that's why I've put like a square around it there. Let's see if I can craft some shears over here. And um, if I can shear my sheep, awesome. Then I can go ahead and start looking at making a bed and uh, popping that inside. I've got the door on my house now. A bit more grinding, I need a few more ingots I think. Oh, spiders popping up again. So there is my little house finished, little tour of my world here before we finish up the video. So there's my house with my bed, so I can get him sleep in my bed and save my progress and all that kind of stuff, which is nice. Um, here's my little farm at the back, which is nice, that's good, all looking after itself. My tree farm over there, and that's about it. That's after a, uh, quite a few days of progress on our one block world. Uh, the big takeaway from this is that you can use one block in Education Edition, but you need a version that works in 1.14, which is a frustrating thing, but hopefully uh, you can use the link in the description and it will work for you to download a version that works in Minecraft Education. Please do like and subscribe, and uh, if you enjoyed today's video, come back and check it out. There will be more videos uh, next week from me, but until then, have a good week. See you next time. Oh,